Oh, look, there he is, there he is. Look, 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 look. The finishing touch. Now I look like a true tourist. Let's go. Here, it looks like you're here one night with us. Yeah, just to, just enough time to see Mickey. Okay. What, tent? Yeah, I just do a little tenting, a little camping. Oh, I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will rain. Close. Oh! Perfect. Is it pretty busy right now? Um, kind of, sort of, but no, not really. Okay. There's a lot of people coming before Christmas. Hmm. Thank you. You guys have a nice night. Thank you. Right. Thanks, you too. You're welcome. And just like that, we're in Disney. For $120, we have full access to some of the best fishing ponds that are here in Central Florida. We've got some options here. We could go fishing at these beautiful canals and ponds, or we could hit up morning crafts from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. if we don't want to go fishing. Just a thought. Maybe later in the day, do some poolside activities. Roast some marshmallows with Chippendale. Personally, that doesn't sound like fun to me. I'd much rather yank on some fish. This is incredible. This is exactly what I'm, oh, Jesus, a f***ing deer right there. I don't know if that's a part of the experience, but they just got deer roaming around. We're pulling up to our campsite right now. We gotta blend in with the community. We don't wanna completely sell ourselves out here and make it seem like we're just here to go bass fishing. We're here to also experience, you know, camping life here in Disney. Welcome to Disney World. This is our campsite for the night. Uh, like I said, I only booked one night. This is the cheapest route you could potentially go in order to getting into Disney without breaking any rules or laws. This is our, uh, our humble boat. Where will we be staying? What do you think? It's pretty nice. Sure beats the Grand Floridian, that's for sure. You may or may not know this, but most of Disney is off limits to fishing. The last time we were here, we had to sneak around. We had to go full incognito mode. But now that we've actually booked a spot here at Fort Wilderness, we're good to go. We're green lighted. We should be able, in theory, to fish any of the water within this part of the park. I think it would be a safe estimate to say that there's probably hundreds of juicy lakes within Disney. And we're gonna get a chance to fish a sliver of that today. So I'm absolutely stoked. Head up to the first spot right now and see if we can get bit. Wow, only in Disney do you have like fish feeders just posted up waiting for fish to come by. Start off with a little frog. I'm gonna throw a little filthy frog. We got a little storm front rolling in right now. I should get those fish active and moving. Oh wow, something is, I think something's moving right towards my frog right now. That was crazy. I don't know if that was a bass or a, oh, oh my God. You see that? I just got waked on, huge wake, huge wake. Oh my Lord. He didn't eat it all the way. That was a big fish. Oh my gosh, dude, first cast. First cast in Disney and something big just is trailing my frog right now. Come on, crush it. He just kind of like threw his body into it. Didn't really fully eat it. He's gonna start with the blazing worm. Got a couple casts on the frog. I think that'll probably come into play, especially if this overcast sticks around, but I'm gonna see if I can just get something going with a worm. So right, here's the poster child of Florida grass fishing. The blazing worm. If you guys want to pick up some of these blazing worms for yourself, check the link down below. They make for a great grassy worm. You can swim it, hop it, drag it, whatever. I'll leave these linked down below. Use my code John B to save 10% off. Get them now while they're hot. Get them now while they're hot. And hopefully today I show you what they're capable of and why I love using them so much. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. What dock is that? Perfect. Is that perfect though? Okay, well let's go somewhere else. So, we're not. This is not what I signed up for. We just got kicked out of that spot. Listen, I might push the envelope a little bit. I spent $120 of my hard earned money to come here and wet a line. And some lady on a Segway came up and said, hey, you can't fish here. Well, well, that, well that says fishing at the fort and there's fishing signs everywhere. Where can I fish? And she says, you can fish the dock. 
we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go find a place where we don't get, uh, where we don't get messed with by any of you segwayers. We're on the back end right now. No one should bother us over here, but I'm feeling like this is the place to catch them. They've got these signs everywhere. I think what happened was, is uh, I believe it was a toddler that actually got attacked and unfortunately perished due to a alligator attack. And because of that, they put all these these fences and signs up that say danger alligators and snakes in the air. I don't know if this was a thing before that incident happened. Like literally a kid died in Disney. Pretty harsh. I don't think people want you talking about that, but it is a reality. So with that, they put all these barriers up on really good fishing spots. It's, you know, what they have to do to not get sued, but it's also unfortunate for people who just want to walk and do a little bit of fishing too. Anyway, we're here. We got an imminent storm threat. I haven't even caught a fish yet. I've already gotten kicked out of one spot. I think at this point we just need to focus and crank. Wish us luck. There's one. Got him. There we go. First freaking dis. Oh, he came undone. No. That'd have been our first Disney fish. I should tell this video how to fumble the bag in private waters. Gosh. Little guy, it's all good. It wasn't giant. Would have taken him though. Would have taken him. For whatever reason, these fish are acting a little weird. I wonder if it's because of the storm that's about to roll in. They might be hunkered down, not wanting to feed at the moment. <clears throat> that stinks, man. That stinks. Did you bring a uh, podcast equipment? Yeah. yeah three mics. Just not the stands. Just, just the mics and cords. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> falcon just tried to grab my frog. I don't know if it was a hawk or a falcon. He just tried going after the filthy frog. I can't get a bite from a bass, but I can get a bird to swoop down and try to grab it. What the hell? Dude, this place is pretty wild, not gonna lie. They really, they really sold it well. I don't know if these um, these uh, wild animals in here, are they're hired by Disney or if they're actually naturally occurring, but uh, it's pretty nuts. I haven't even gotten a bite from a bass yet and I've got a falcon try to take a pass on my lure. Oh, look, there he is, there he is. Look, 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 look. Oh, tried to get it. I was just letting you, I'm a ranger here. I was letting cool. you know that you cannot fish anywhere that does not have a white, a white roping. If it does not okay. have the netting, you cannot fish there. Okay. Um, it is an issue because of the uh, the gators. Okay. The best place to fish that they actually stock, you go right here to this loop right here. That's the 300 loop. Okay. You're going to go to 330 or 329. Go to 329. At 329, there's going to be a gravel road. Walk that gravel ro road. Go over the spillway. At the spillway, they've been catching largemouth bass about this big. They've wow. been breaking the lines there. Cool. Awesome. Sounds good. Thank That's you. That's a you. great place. Appreciate awesome. it. Thank you. Have a great day. You as well. Disney bass. They do exist. Come here, buddy. Ooh, get over the fence. There we go. Finally, what we came for. Just had to slow things down a little bit. I think the storm. I don't want to jinx it, but it might actually roll just east of us, which is nice because I don't want to get absolutely soaked. And furthermore, I don't want to get hit by lightning, but there we go, our first Disney bass. It feels so good. It took a while, but I slowed things down a little bit. Went from throwing the blazing worm, which is a little bit more of an active presentation, to the six inch lunker log. And all it took was just slow and steady. Slow and steady to get this bite. Decent little bass, we'll take him. Feels good to come in here, quote unquote, legally, and actually get some fish under our belt opposed to like I said previously, sneaking around. Such a beautiful one. Gonna send him back on his way. We did it, man. We got what we came for. It wasn't recorded at all. Well, I don't think we got that fish on GoPro, but at the very least, we got some big camera shots. It's okay, though. It's one of many, hopefully, that we get today. All right, there we go. One down for the lunker log. We just gotta figure it out, man. I think maybe slows the move. I was throwing some moving baits. Wasn't happening. Fishing some bigger stuff, wasn't happening. Nothing a little lunker log can't solve. It's a good fish though, we'll get another. We're waiting it out right now. Oh. Well, we got in, we're able to fish, we can't catch them, and now it's raining. Actually, that's an understatement. There's a tornado, potentially, right around the corner. We're just sitting ducks. It's all right though, this gives me an opportunity to look at Google Maps. The nice thing is there's no shortage of water around here. We did fish some stuff, maybe it was dusty. I don't know, I've never been over here and fished this part of Disney. I would have to say it's dusty. It wasn't very good. So we're gonna go wait for this rain to hopefully pass, fingers crossed, and then go find some new juice. Just some juice in general. We haven't found the juice yet. Oh, dude, no way. I feel like it would, oh, there's one. There's one. I'm getting bit. 
got her. Ooh, decent little guy. There we go. There we go. There we go, come here. Oh, let's go, baby. Let's go. Storm is a brewing right now, but maybe that's got the fish chewing. First one on the 10 inch Mondo worm. That right there is a Florida LMB. Good fish, solid bass for sure. You can just tell it's a Florida largemouth by the way that it is. No, I'm just kidding. It's super dark, big mouth, long lean belly. It's just such a unique fish compared to the ones that we catch in Texas. I'm gonna toss you right back. Put it there, baby. Fish number two. I was, your camera or me? I was waiting for you to. <laughs> <laughs> now we're just keep rolling. Dude, we're an absolute mess out here. We're drenched. We're dying. I'm so confused as to why we haven't caught more fish, but maybe this is the start of something good. I'm gonna keep cranking and try to remain low key. I think we are fishing in a bit of an off limit zone, but that's quite all right. It's the same canal system as we were fishing earlier. Uh, there just could be some more hungry fish over here. So fingers crossed. Let's go get another. There's one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a decent one. There we go, baby. Another one, a little bit smaller. We'll take him. Oh. Whew. This is crazy, man. We are getting drenched right now. There's lightning and thunder all around us, but the fish are still biting it. This was not the expectation, but reality is settling in. And even though uh, these are not the conditions I was hoping to film in today's video, it's making for an interesting uh, episode for sure. Not a bad little largemouth on the Mondo worm. We'll take it, man. We'll take it. Slow day, but they're still biting. What I'm doing right now is I'm slowing things down a little bit. I started kind of power fishing in the beginning, trying to cover some water because this is a, a part of Disney I've never fished before. So I was just trying to find the fish and that wasn't really working. So I've slowed things down, started with the six inch lunker log, which is a really slow and subtle presentation. Oh my God, that was close. Oh God, that was close. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, although that was effective and I feel like it probably could have caught a lot of fish, I just couldn't cover as much water. So now I'm throwing a, uh, a weighted 10 inch Mondo worm, which is getting in out of the grass pretty nicely. It's something that's gonna sink a whole lot faster and ultimately it's gonna get those fish that are a little bit more slow and slow on the bottom. Uh, that was pretty close. We should probably be careful. This is uh, something I would not recommend doing. If it's lightning like that, do not fish, but I have a screw loose and I just wanna get bit. So we're, uh, we're steady angling. For a good hour, myself and Caleb got absolutely soaked, but we're back on it. Things are looking fish here. We've walked down this canal quite a bit. I don't know if we're supposed to fish here, but we are very close to where you can fish. So I'm just gonna kind of focus on the blurred lines here a little bit. I've got two rods, I got a popper and a mondo worm, and there's actually some ponds that are adjacent to the canal. So we're gonna kind of step off the canal, see if we can get in some fish. If we can end on a banger, just find like a whole group of bass, which usually is the case in Florida, and end this little video on a, a nice hot moment, that'd be sweet. But Right now there's like no one out. This rain has definitely gotten everyone uh, to gather back inside. So we're kind of the only ones here, which is insane. He's got it. We got one. Oh, good one. Decent, decent little LM busy. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Look how different this fish looks. It's raining, man. It's storm. We got tornado warnings coming. That one's golfing. That's why we're out here fishing, baby. Another one for the Mondo where I switched up to a darker color because this pond is a little bit muddier. And you can tell too, look how, look how pale this fish is compared to the ones we catch in the canal. You've got Disney mansions to our left, pristine golf course green to our right, and then bass smack dab in the middle. Say hello to Mickey for me. Oh, there's one. There he is. I don't know where he's going with it. That was so sick, dude. That was so cool, man. Super shallow, super shallow bite. I didn't think it was that big. It was like a really tiny tap, but ended up being another nice one. Another KO for the Mondo Worm. Look at that. Sand trap is right here and we're just catching bass. There's nobody out here. Normally we would have gotten kicked out within seconds, but well, you find loopholes, man. You get a you get a $120 10 by 10 camping spot. You fish in, the, in a storm and no one messes with you. This is how we're getting done. If you ever come to Florida or any sort of Southern state where it's like warm, 365 days of the year, bring one of these Mondo Worm. These are the new Gold Series hooks that I'm testing out down here. I think these are actually available right now, but these are awesome hooks. These are extra wide gap hooks, so they're perfect for getting a, getting a nice meaty hook set in those fish. So you don't want to use too heavy a weight in these ponds because there could be a bit of sediment down there or some grass, and you don't want the weight to sink the bait through that grass. Just doing a little weedless rig right there. I oftentimes peg the weight, but other times it doesn't really matter. Enabling that worm to have full range of motion is not a bad idea too, and sometimes when you peg it, you you know adhere that motion. But today we are fishing some grass, so I've got it slightly pegged, and that's all you need to know. 
perfect pond hopping Florida setup using a seven foot green gold series with 20 pound test. If you guys want to check out any of the gear that I just mentioned, it'll be linked down below. Use my code John B. Save 10% off your entire order and get to cranking. We're fishing right in front of $10 million Disney mansions. I don't know who owns these things, but I would love to meet you and just ask you what you do for a living. I want to ask what kind of drugs you sell. Um, just like the overall vibe of fishing Disney, it's it's pretty nuts. There's a reason why we came all the way from DFW last night and landed Orlando to make this whole video happen. Good one. Decent one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Let's go, baby. Hammered. Dude, these fish in here fight so hard, bro. Mondo worm is toasted. That's a solid fish. We'll take him. I was worried we weren't going to have a good day. It started off super slow, but it's panning out absolutely panning out exactly what we hope for this is why you make missions like this happen let's go and where she goes On the bloopage. That was a nice little eat. Oh, is he stuck? He got me stuck? I think we got him. Bring him through the cabbage. Switch things up. We're back at the canal. Got a nice little topwater blooper fish. Oh my gosh, dude. We're not catching a ton, but dude, they are hammering it. The way they're eating today is just super aggressive. I'm proud of us sticking around. There was a little voice in the back of my head saying, you know what, dude? We'll just do this another time. We've got plenty of other we got plenty of other days to fish down here. Let's just abandon the Disney video and just go stay warm. Let's go to a hotel room, grab a nice hot, warm meal. And the other voice in my head was saying, no, stick it out. The rain's going to pass. We're going to catch fish. We're going to film an absolute heater. I'm hoping we succeed in that last part. At least we caught some fish, that's for sure. Look how dark this Florida bass is. My gosh, so much fun, dude. I cannot get enough of these fish, dude. Decent day, boys. Got a little bass thumb going here in the magic world of Disney. Not too shabby, half decent, might I add. Half decent is how I'd describe today. We're back at our campsite, gonna rest up for a little bit, check to see how the tent fared in that nasty storm. <clears throat> well, let's just say the tent has seen much better days. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's not what matters though. What matters, even though our tent is completely soaking wet and there's about three inches of water in it, what matters is we got out here and we managed to fish in Disney. And we did it all within the rules. Every time we've come here, we've had to, we've had to sneak and slither around and it's been very difficult and we've gotten kicked out quite some time and that sucks. Like I don't like getting kicked out, but we figured out a system today. Through purchasing this $120 camp spot, which for most people obviously seems like a lot of money, uh, but for Disney standards, isn't that much. You can come here and explore some of the canals and ponds and lakes that surround this area and do a bit of dangling. The magic way, the Disney magic way. Look, my main goal is I would love to figure out a way to actually fish in the park. Do it with permission, of course, and find a way to film and document the whole experience. There's some incredible canals and ponds actually within Disney. Believe it or not, like in the park, like Magic Kingdom and Epcot, that are just teeming with bass that have never seen a lure. And I think it'd be absolutely wild to film in there, but the only way we're gonna do that is if we get permission, or if we know someone who knows someone, or I mean, I don't know, it may honestly be impossible, but if you guys know of any way to make that happen, drop a comment or shoot us an email or DM on Instagram, because that would be an absolute ridiculous video. But we're peacing out, signing out. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate the view. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, drop a comment. Let us know what you thought of today's episode, and we'll catch you on the next one. As always, folks, keep fishing, never stop.